Hello everyone, Jasper Agler here from vbolton.com and today I will show you how to restore your MySQL database using an SSH client called PuTTY and an SSH according to Wikipedia is a network protocol that allows data to be exchanged using a secure channel between two network devices and PuTTY on the other hand is a terminal emulator application which can act as a client for the SSH, Telnet, R-Login and raw TCP computing protocols and in order to to uh, restore your MySQL database via SSH or Telnet, you will require some things. One, an empty MySQL database attached with um, user and all permissions. And two, an SH, SSH or Telnet access to your website. And to make sure you have access, just check with your hosting company and see if it's available. And the other requirement is the PuTTY program. So to download PuTTY, just go on Google and type in PuTTY Client Download and click on the first result and you should be taken to the PuTTY download page and here it will show you a number of versions you can download. I would just download the PuTTY.exe under the binaries for Windows on Intel x86 and before moving on, note that if your database backup resides on your home computer, you'll first need to upload it via FTP to your website uh, like so and yeah so once you have these requirements we can begin restoring your MySQL database so first open up your SSH and Telnet PuTTY client and log into your website and as you can see I'm already logged in into my account and I will be using my vBulletin test site as an example and the command line prompt you will see will vary by operating systems and for most hosting companies this will bring you into the FTP root folder so just type in the following to create a backup into the current directory or uh, to restore the backup into the current directory sorry <laughs> mysql space dash u space green4 underscore db user which will be um, my database username and then space dash p space green4 underscore database name which is my database name and then space uh, greater, greater sign symbol space backup name dot SQL which is uh, the name of the backup file that I will restore and before you move on please make sure that you change the name of the green4 underscore DB user to your own database username and the green4 underscore database name to your empty database name and the backup name SQL to the name of the backup database you want to restore and so once you have completed inputting the said text just press enter and you will be prompted to input your database password so just enter it and the database uh, will start restoring and note that dep depending on the size of your database it can take a while so just be patient and then afterwards that's basically it <laughs> so anyways if you uh, enjoyed this video tutorial please subscribe and check back for more we will constantly add new videos to our channel enjoy